Hmm. Now this is a eight, problem 18th one which I have sent it. This is from the RP Trivedi only ma. So here he, six transactions he has given and every transaction is a separate. Every transaction is a separate ma. So here I am going to do now all the transactions are in the books of A only. So keep in mind that we are in the books of A. That means myself, I myself should assume to be A. We should assume ourselves to be A. Got my point? Now, generalize the following transactions in the books of A he has set. So here we are going to prepare only the transactions in the books of A. So not any other thing. Okay, I'll send that pic also from Kalyani Publications. You can't hear me? Now, is it fine? Just tell me, is it fine now? Mm. So here I am in the books of A. So journal entries in the books of A. So we are in the books of A. Please keep in mind, we are in the books of A. All the things we are doing from the point of A only. So that you should remember. Now here he has asked so many things, ma. like uh, every individual entry, like almost uh, till F we have it, uh, six entries we have it and six entries are independent. There is no connection between each other. So every individual account is giving us some new information. So we are going to record that one only. So first one goes like this. So what is the first one? The first one says acceptance to be for rupees 500 retired before due date repeat allowed 10 rupees so acceptance to be now here a is acting sometimes as a creditor a sometimes is acting as a debtor means when he is a creditor it is a receivable for him when he is acting as a debtor it is a payable for him now i should recognize which is a receivable and which is a payable okay the first one i have to analyze it acceptance to be acceptance to be means what acceptance to be acceptance to be means what i am giving acceptance to be or b is giving me the acceptance Who is giving the acceptance? Please tell me. Acceptance to be ante at the main day. I am giving. A is giving acceptance. Very good. So yes, A is giving a acceptance. So here. A is accepting, giving acceptance to B means for A, it is a payable Nana. Okay, fine. So for me now, right now, I am accepting the B that I will promise you to pay so and so amount. Okay, that is fine. But what is rebate? Rebate means before itself, we are paying the money. Now, I promised the B that, sir, I'm going to pay you your amount after three months. But luckily, somehow I got my money. So what I did, immediately, immediately, I have forwarded the amount to that fellow. Means not even completing a three months. I got within a one month, I got whatever the amount I have to get it. I got it. So immediately, I paid the B. So I am paying before a due date, no? So that is called rebate. Means whenever we are paying a before a due date, it is called a rebate of the bills so rebate of bill means 
staying before the due date or maturity date which will earn a discount but instead of calling it as discount we call it as rebate on bill retiring of bill means paying the pay before the due date or a maturity date which will earn a discount but instead of calling it as a discount we call it as a rebate because discount anagane the first foremost comes into mind is what we going to the banker to discount our bill so that's what here i should make have a difference no so that is the reason a retiring bill if it is earning as a discount we call as a rebate now the journal entry acceptance to be retired before a due date and rebate allowed so here first i am giving a acceptance to that fellow that sir i am going to pay so whom i am giving acceptance b so b is account debit how much 500 to bills payable account 500 so first i am writing a entry for acceptance being bill drawn is accepted now what is the next thing ma the bill i have paid earlier means before a due date itself i have paid the bill so i am making a payment so my bill should be cancelled so that's why now it will come as this side so bills payable account debit how much 500 but did i pay the total amount no i got a discount so to cash account which is 10 rupees discount means cash i paid only 490 so to rebate on bill is 10 rupees so here it is a benefit now and nominal says gains and profits should be on the credit side so that's the reason a benefit called rebate is on the credit side being bill amount paid before due date and received a rebate that is discount is it fine now this is done the first one part is completed the first entry is this much now come down to the second entry what is the second one second one is the independent each every entry is independent of its own i said so now second entry what is the second entry he is talking he said cease acceptance cease acceptance for 400 renewed for further period of 3 months with a uh, rupees of 5 as a interest so now you tell me in the first point acceptance to b i said so i become a bills payable now i said cease acceptance for 400 means what is it i am accepting to c or c is accepting to me accepting is equal to promise promise is equal to payable need answers yeah right sure a is the receiver so now i'll go with this one so what is this one is what is the importance of this one i said it is a renewal so renewal of bill yeah right sai so
perennial of bill means requesting the creditor to provide some more time for making a payment in simple it's a extension of payment date but once a bill is written cannot be changed therefore in this case of renewal the first action is to cancel the old bill and draw the new bill got understood so what is mean by renewal of bill ma a renewal of bill is usually it is an extension period and matter so i am requesting uh, like uh, i have what here c c accepted that he will make me the payment of 400 rupees but he could not make it within a 3 months or 1 month whatever the time period i gave that fellow could not able to pay so what he requested is uh, i cannot pay you right now so i want you to extend some more time i want to extend some more time so give me two more months time you extend the time in the bill but once the bill is written i can't strike it off because once any kind of a negotiable instruments if we are going to strike off then it becomes a invalid so that's why here what happens if you want to renewal a new bill if you want to renewal a bill then it says that renewal means a one more hidden transaction will be attached into that what is that hidden attachment is the cancellation of old bill so here we need to cancel the old bill first then only we can go for returning the new bill so that process is called renewal so this is important so what is that first we need to go for cancel the old bill so here he said renew the bill so whenever the in the question you have been asked renew the bill means you should understand that first i should cancel what old bill then i should go for a new bill fine so first what i am going to do is i'll go for cancelling the old bill now you, you people said a is a receiver means bills receivable so first time when we are drawing a bill bills receivable will be always on the debit side right ma so the first entry let us assume the first entry was like this bills receivable account debit 400 to c's account that is 400 so it was being bill drawn on c this one i'm writing old just to make you understand i'm writing this one or else i will not write this one now i have to cancel so cancellation means what simply we are going to simply we are going to go for reversing the entry simply we are going to go for reversing the entry so what is that whatever we have written as bills receivable to c's account now we are going to reverse the entry mean cancellation and entry reversing the entry so here i'm going to write c's account debit 400 to bills receivable so for us this is important cancelling the old bill means this entry is important the first entry entry just to make you understand i have written usually we will not write first entry directly you should learn to 
cancel the entry directly you should write the second entry so being first bill got cancelled now i am going for renewing so renewing means it is a loss for me because i should receive within a two months but you fellow you did not pay me so simply i'll accept it for 400 no what i'm going to do it i'm going to go for adding some extra amount to it so now my new bill will be bills receivable account debit 405 to to whom i am writing see the same person see his account he was supposed to give 400 but extra i am adding to him what i am taking from that fellow to interest usual ga maniki artham kavatledu ante direct ga meeru to interest ani raayakapoyina parvaledu nana narration lo raayali appudu ila being new bill is drawn on c along with interest of 5 5 rupees is this clear so in this one this is a just an for your understanding i have given you but actually it is not necessary for this transaction this entry is not necessary for this transaction these two are important first you should learn to the cancellation of the old entry just to, to have an idea that old entry looks like this i have written this old entry but in examination you are not supposed to write this entry you should have idea directly that old entry means this is it so cancellation means quite opposite to this one so from here in my second transaction only two transactions should come got understood now next one go to the third one what is the third one c1 he said a bill drawn by d now please tell me a bill drawn by d for 800 renewed for three months paying 200 in cash and accepting 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 another bill for 699 including interest so now as a a i am acceptor means for me it's a bills payable or it's a receivable please tell me yeah right sai that's correct it's a payable because what was the question he said a bill drawn by d he said means someone is drawing on me and i'm accepting it so when i'm accepting means i'm making a promise so accepting is equal to promise promise is equal to p for promise p for payable i said so now i am in the payment just now in the above transaction we have seen if the renewal of bill is for receivable now the renewal of a bill for payable so simply what we'll do just we'll cancel it so if you want you see the bills payable entry will be how we are going to write down you can check it from the first entry a retiring of the bill you can check from that one so first a bill was drawn by d 800 renewed so just now i said renewed means automatically a transaction is attached what is that the first entry should be cancelled so first entry was how first i'll write that one then we'll go for cancellation so first entry was like this these account debit 800 to bills payable account 800 so just now how i am writing this one the same like shaded part here i have done it no the same shaded part i'll do for this one also so being bill drawn is accepted now i said this for same thing i have to cancel it and none so cancellation means what we'll do simply we'll go for reverse that is bills payable account debit that is 800 to 
D's account. That is 800. Being bill drawn earlier is cancelled for renewal. Like this, I'm going to write. Now I have cancelled the earlier one. No? Now I should go for what? Writing of a new bill. But writing of a new bill, simply he has not given why. He said something. What is that? He said, mm, by paying 200 in cash and accepting another bill for 609, including an interest, it seems. So this is a big part. So here we have a number of. When you are confused, you can write separately also. That is, uh, D's account a bit to cash and AC 200 separate the Raskoch. Ledu Manamanta club chases Rasestam, Adam and Anukunte Matram, Alaina Rasech, Elagana Rasset. So the Ella Rasamante. Now I'm going to write as D's account debit. It will be as usual 800. Now here I'm paying extra interest also. No, Nak interest to Chinapa name Rasanu credit Lorasan, but it could interest. Main page is not. So, Kabati Ikra interest illa rasan. Two, I am accepting no. So, Kabati not payable out. So, payable total length of six, not nine. Adi ella. How much I paid in the form of cash? Two. First, it is sunlight. Cash account. So cash account. First he paid two hundred nana. So two hundred. So balance enta two bills payable is equal to six not nine. Like this we are going to write it out. So being cash paid and for balance. Accepted for bill drawn. Okay, understand Nana. So, this is the last entry. This is the last This is the last entry. 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 So, if the same entry you want to write in one more format and condi, so aprela rastamo, I'm just showing it for you people. Ide dani in two parts ka nin divide chestan. How? First I said, madam, we are confused to four four entries, club entries, compound entries. I don't want to write. So simply one more solution is there. First, write a separate entry for cash payment. Whom I am paying a cash? D. So I'll write D's account debit two hundred. To cash account 200. Then, second entry, same. D's, how much is there? 609, no? So, D's account debit 600. Interest, name, 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 Now, this is fine. No? So, if you want, you can write in this manner. If you find this is to be difficult, compound entry, you doesn't want to write. It's headache for you. Then this is a simple way you can do it. Is this clear? I'm clearing that one. I'm clearing it. Shall I clear it or uh, let it be? Now, this is done. No? Now, what is the next one? A debit. Debit, what is it? Ease acceptance for 500 endorsed in favor of F. Dishonored. Mm. Dishonored. F paid 10 as noting charges, then paid F by check and accepted uh, from E another bill for the amount due plus interest of 15 rupees. So, here, what is that? Is it ease acceptance? Ease acceptance. Ease acceptance, ease acceptance means what? is acceptance it is just like b b entry b entry so it is receivable or payable tell me fast we have last eight minutes
yeah bill received yeah receivable receivable not payable akash it's a receivable <coughs> he said he is acceptance and he is accepting so he is promising for me it's a receivable for me it is a receivable right so e is acceptance 500 endorsed in favor of f so i have got a bills receivable nana but what i did i endorsed to some other fellow so here what is that i'll quickly i'll write it so i received a bills receivable check instrument how much for it is for 500 from whom i received from e's account which is 500 so being bill drawn is accepted later what happened he endorsed to some other fellow who f so the transaction becomes f account debit to i am giving what my bill so my bills receivable i am handing over to the f which is 500 so what is that we are going to write being bill endorsed to f this is also fine but what is the story here he said that was dishonored itself what happened to that bill which we did endorse it is dishonored so what the f who, who has taken it he will give us back no and what i will do i should give it back to the a no so now see first time e is on which side idi chala simple confuse kaakunda raayali ante chala simple nana now i will get a bill from f and i should give a bill to the e who will be on the debit who will be on the credit the simple trick is the previous entry have a look first time e is on the credit side so obviously second time he will go to the debit side that is 500 now first time f is on the debit side so obviously he'll come down to the credit side so this is how i'm going to write a dishonored entry so being bill got dishonored fine then what happened here the story did not end here what happened uh, the fellow has paid a noting charges so what i said sorry to the f and i paid him a cash so now again for a f i am paying him f account debit 510 in the form of check itself in the form of check means what obviously bank will come in the middle now so i'm not giving him a bill i'm directly i'm saying please take away the check so being amount paid to f by means of check then this is also done but here again the story ended no again what e said i will pay you the amount for whatever the charges you have bear please draw it on me again so again i have drawn a fresh bill on that fellow that is bills receivable account debit for how much 510 is already i pay to f 510 pay chesa 500 bill aithe f noting charges pay chesa adu kabatti extra 10 rupees nen pay chesa మరి ఇప్పుడు వాడి దగ్గర ఎక్స్ట్రా టెన్ రూపీస్ మళ్ళీ నా ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ రూపీస్ మొత్తం కలిపి ఫైవ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ కి బిల్ రాసాను ఇప్పుడు నేను వాడికి నోటింగ్ చార్జెస్ అంటే మా ఎప్పుడైనా డిజానర్ అయితే బిల్ కనుక డిజానర్ అయితే దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ చార్జెస్ ద బ్యాంకర్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు లెవీ ఆన్ అస్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ లాస్ ఫర్ దట్ ఫెలో నో వై హీ విల్ బేర్ అవర్ లాస్ వై హీ విల్ బేర్ ఇస్ అవర్ లాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ అ బ్యాడ్ నేమ్ టు ద బ్యాంక్ so why it will bear a bad name for itself so that's why they will throw it on us so dani manam noting charges anta so being new bill drawn and got accepted for full amount okay is this clear please take a screenshot please take a screenshot last e and f i'm doing it <laughs> done with screenshots 
I'm moving to the next one. Now, next entry is E and uh, F are very simple, Anna. So even due to lack of instructions, our promissory note in the favor of H returned unpaid 500. He claimed 510, which was paid by check agent. So, uh, Manamu, uh, due to the lack of instruction, promissory note in favor of H and in favor of H and A and T. Ante nain vadke promise yes naata, var na promise yes naata. In favor of H and A. So for me, it's a payable or receivable bill. <coughs> it's a payable lana. So bills payable which I promise, but I forgot to tell my banker, sir, uh, there will be a one payment. So you pay to Mr. H. And I will pay for the bank. So the bank is the same. Who is the same? Who is the same? Who is the same? So what is the loss? Who is the loss? H is the loss. So that fellow said, he has got angry. And that fellow said, you are going to pay me extra amount. So I have no choice. First I'm writing, being bill got dishonored and in in rasana so he noting charges ekkada rasam ante noting charges naak kada padutunnai w extra so apude em chestam ante illa rasam noting charges ne indaka cheppan kada it's a kind of expenditure we are having so ikkada so appudu veedu degara ka nenu vaadiki ent pay cheyali okay vallandu okka bank ichina rate lo cheppina Okay, so you put Mali what you want to do, cut the draw bill draw chay and do not. So Mali in accept yes, sir. H account debit that is 510 to bills payable account that is 510. Being New bill drawn is accepted. Okay, this is the last. And the next last one is, last one is only one entry we have it. So last one, what is that? Hef. So the transaction goes. Bill of 5,000 accepted by V uh, K was endorsed against another bill payable due to payment for the same sum. So, a bill and a man endorses them. Are they ever paid chaplet? So, a plain as some and a creditor creditor account debit to bills receivable account 5000. Please take down. That's it. Please take down. Okay, ma, please take down and I'll be sending you the link. 